Hi, I'm Bernie Goliath, Chief Car Idiot, and welcome to Car Idiots Forever. And behind me is not just this car, but it's got velvet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the car's more impressive, but you know. Well, anyway, Scott, welcome to Car Idiots Forever. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. You know, this is a uh, you know, rather famous car to say, and how did you acquire it, and what gave you the interest to be able to get involved with in it? Uh, you know, I've, I've been in the movie car business ever since I was a teenager. I, I started by buying one car and then flipped into another one and just kept going and kept going. And recently I've, I've gotten into museums and doing things like that. So, you know, it's uh, uh, kind of a passion of mine. For me, it's the thrill of the hunt. It's finding the cars and then, you know, then uh, sharing them with everybody and then finding another place for them, you know, putting them in a, a, in a museum or an exhibit or on a tour, so. Well, that's very good. And now you say museum. Do you have a museum? In Branson, Missouri, we've got the Celebrity Car Museum. We've got about okay. 30,000 square feet. There's about 100 cars inside. Right. And then we've got a warehouse that we rotate them out of the museum. We're constantly buying from Hollywood. We, we go to the, all the auctions, Barrett-Jackson. We, we trade with other museums, and hey, so, like it. so it's, it's kind of cool. I started out actually working for my father, owned all the Elvis Presley museums. He was friends with Elvis Presley. I grew up in Memphis, and uh, he introduced me to people uh, like Warwick Stone and Robert Earl, who own the Hard Rock Cafe and the Planet Hollywood, and so I started supplying them with the things that went on their walls. And then, I, you know, from memorabilia, props, and wardrobe, I kind of, I, my passion's always been cars, so I, I've kind of moved it over to cars, and now that's what I do. Well, it looks like you're having a good time, and I'll tell you, it looks like a lot of people around here are very interested in your car. People really enjoy the, the movie cars. Like when we come, you know, we'll go to the Midwest, or we'll go up to, to uh, the Great North or, or Canada, or we just got back from Saudi Arabia from a tour over there. And uh, when we bring this stuff, it's like bringing Hollywood to a different part of the country or a different part of the world. And so people appreciate that. They get to see the cars. And, and for us, we let people actually sit in the cars. So oh, I get to sit in it too. Yeah, yeah, you get to sit in the car. Yeah, you gotta be careful, you know. <laughs> I may you take to, off. If you get it up to 88 miles an hour, I can't be responsible. <laughs> Well, you have a variety of other cars here, and I know we want to take a look at them as well. But this is very unique, and we'll get back to this one. But thanks, we'll check these other cars out. Sounds great. We'll see. Okay, let's need. go. <laughs> Scott, tell us about this car now in your collection. The, this is an interesting car. This is actually a screen-used car. It was driven by uh, Vin Diesel in the movie Triple X. And uh, that movie was made uh, back in 2001. It's a 67 GTO. Uh, it's purple and it's set up with every kind of James Bond type uh, uh, gadget that you can imagine from missiles that come out the front. It's got a weapons thing in the back. It's got tags that flip in, in the back. I mean, a total computerized dash, it's crazy. It's got a letter of authenticity from Revolution Studios who, who shot the movie. And uh, it was built by the, uh, the famous uh, car builder, Eddie Paul, who also created all the cars for the first and second Fast and Furious. And uh, he was the guy who created the uh, shark for the Discovery Channel Shark Week, the robot shark that went through. Unfortunately, uh, Eddie Paul's no longer with us, but his car is here, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a great one. I love driving it. Well, it looks like a lot of fun. Let's go check that one out, too. Right. Hey, Hannibal, no. you make this sucker shit up. This is from the 80s popular TV series, uh, The A-Team. Yeah. And, uh, 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 it had lots of famous actors, but I think the most famous was the person who drove it, Mr. T. Yeah. And, you know, uh, uh, one of the sayings from the show was, I love it when a plan comes together. I think that's a good way to come to the next car, don't Absolutely. you agree? Absolutely. Let's Absolutely. go check it out. Let's do it. Now, Kit is wanting everybody to come down to the Cleveland Auto Show so they can uh, meet Kit and talk to him. He actually, uh, he's a talking car, drives by himself. He's from the famous TV show, Knight Rider. Absolutely, well I tell you one thing, it's very recognizable. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. You know, you have a wonderful collection. And how can people get in touch with you and find out more about your museum? Tell us about that. Well, if you're ever down in Branson, Missouri, uh, come on by. We're right on the main strip. You can look us up at CelebrityCarMuseum.com or check us out on Facebook or Instagram, Celebrity Car Museum. And uh, we'd love to have you. Well, thank you so much for being on Car Idiots Forever. So do you think that you're a car idiot forever? I'm definitely a car idiot forever. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We'll see you right. at CarIdiotsForever.com.